welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys seven new more places of where it, I think it's Instagram worthy of like taking pictures and stuff like that. So I wanted to share those new places with you. I'm pretty sure most of them you guys have heard of or seen them or something. So, um, but I'm just in case you guys don't know, um, I'll show you guys where they're at. I usually give you guys the address or at least a crossing street so you know where it's at. Okay, so the first place I wanted to share with you guys that I'm pretty sure you guys have all heard of or at least gone to it if you've been here in LA and that's the Griffith Observatory and I think that's a great place to go take pictures and see all of LA because it's really pretty on the day I went it was actually kind of cloudy but it was okay I mean the pictures still came out pretty good I took a bunch of pictures of me and my boyfriend at the time and then um, also my sister and her boyfriend so we took a bunch of pictures so this was a while back when we went and this was before I was pregnant so yeah I think it was before I was pregnant so in some of these pictures or videos I might look pregnant in others not so much that's just because I filmed this way back and I never completed it until now so that's why you'll probably see slight changes like that but I mean it's no big deal it's still the same place so the second place I wanted to share with you guys is this park that's near downtown LA it has a whole background of downtown LA and it's very pretty it's a small park it's not a huge park but it's a nice it has like a nice trail when you go inside um there's a lot of bushes trees I don't know they're like kind of hanging over you and it's just nice and relaxing to walk around if you're into those type of parks I think it's a great park to go to and there's this bench like on top of one of the little hills that goes um and a lot of people take pictures on and that's the one I use to take a picture as well when I went it wasn't that packed so it doesn't usually seem like it would be unless probably during the weekends I think I went during the week so maybe that's why it wasn't so packed um there were quite a few people taking a picture on that particular bench so if you're interested you might have to like wait a few minutes to see if it clears out and then you can go but um there's plenty of other spots in there at the park to take pictures of and you don't necessarily have to go on that bench but I mean most people will do so in case you want to go that's a great place to go and take pictures and have LA as your background so the next place I wanted to share with you guys was another park and this one's more located near Santa Monica Pier like in that area it's really pretty that that park is a little bit bigger and I was surprised to see that um they had an area for kids and stuff when we went there were kids like getting wet and like slides and stuff so I thought that was pretty cool they have benches there and tables um, and there's plenty of spots to take pictures especially if you're like with a group of friends there's plenty of greenery like in the background like I, my, my husband started taking pictures of me besides the spots that I wanted to I went particularly for this one picture but then once we were there there was plenty of room to take more pictures so I took quite a few different ones and if you're interested in seeing those I have those on my Instagram um it's all linked down below to my account um so you guys can see those pictures as well so you guys don't only have to go for that one picture you guys can take a lot more so the next place I wanted to share with you guys is also near Santa Monica it's probably like I don't know well, walking will probably take you a while, 10, 15 minutes away from like the park, I would say, maybe. Um, and it's like a store's wall, it's a brick wall, and I think it's a pet shop. I'm not sure, but it is But it is in a small street, so if, if you want to go towards the street and like take the picture from there, because you don't want to be too close either, just so you can get a, bit, a bigger angle, a bigger picture. Um, then you can do that you can go on the street and since it's a small street it's not busy like the other ones so it works out so now we're moving more back here to downtown LA and here in downtown LA I actually found two I think two or three more spots the first one is the geometric kind of wall I don't know what else to call it it's a very colorful wall um, the area isn't as pretty to me I mean it's a little too crowded for me too much going on and it was really hot that day so I was like waiting for my friend Monica to arrive because she was the one that was helping me with this video and so it's a very geometric colorful I don't know wall the only thing with this wall is that in order to get a good picture of the whole mural or the whole thing 
is the person has to go across the street to take the pictures and you have to wait for the cars to pass by because um, cars are in the way but you do get windows in which the cars move on and no cars are in the way so during that window you have to like take the pictures and so yeah it's a little tricky um but I mean it wasn't that hard like every red light there will be like blank like a blank space where you can like have a window to take pictures and it worked out pretty good I mean we didn't take that long taking the picture and they came out pretty good so the next place is actually um, not that far away from this wall. It's the Angel Wings and it's down the same street. Um, I thought it was really cool. I already showed you guys some Angel Wings in my previous video but these are different wings and I like wings. So I actually liked what it said as well. So that's also not far from there if you're interested in going there and taking a picture. Um, it's also in the corner and it's really busy and it's kind of hard to get the whole image just because cars are passing by and it's just in an awkward angle you can probably get it unless you go across the street but then you get cars so I mainly just took the picture with the wings and then I did take a picture with the whole thing but it was more sideways and that one I didn't really like but I mean you can probably make it work somehow so finally moving on to the last one and that is so that's the rainbow wall and that was actually also on melrose avenue um it was a little bit written on it wasn't as clean the wall but i mean i thought it still made a great picture so that was it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you like these videos especially if you don't live around here in la that way when you come you kind of know where you want to go if you want to take cool pictures for in your Instagram um, so hopefully it comes in handy for some of you guys I am gonna be working on part three which that one's gonna be specifically just like coffee shops or cafes which I'm really excited about I just need to like get them all done I, I didn't want to get them all done in one day because that's a lot of coffee and I can't be drinking coffee so I usually I'm just gonna take someone with me so once that's um, almost done um, I'll post that up for you guys hopefully this upcoming week I'm gonna try if not then I don't know I will try to post it um, so yeah I'll give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time bye I do want to share some news with you guys and that is that I am pregnant and I am having a baby this fall